Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would sit down and film a Q&A for you guys. I feel like I haven't done one for a while and there were a bunch of questions that came through over on my Instagram. So I might even split this up into two videos. I'm thinking I'll do a part one now and then my next video will be a part two. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. First question is, have you found a wedding location? And if so, where? Yes, we have found a wedding location. It's somewhere that's really sentimental to Kurt and I and somewhere that we honestly both didn't really have to think too hard about. We both kind of just went, yep, it's perfect. It is literally right out the front on our beach. <laughs> we first met in the area that we live when we were about 12 um, and Kurt actually proposed to me down the front of our house on the beach as well. The next one is how old is Linky now? He is 10 months. I can't believe it. I'm gonna be having to organize his first birthday soon. That's like, yeah, that's really weird. Did you change your name from Mummy Makeup on YouTube? And if so, why? Yes, I did because I still definitely wanna do makeup and everything on this channel, but I feel like I started it wanting to do like heaps and heaps of makeup videos. It hasn't really happened. And I also wanna do a few other things. So I really enjoy doing try on hauls. And I feel like a lot of you guys really enjoy watching the try on hauls. I also love doing Q and A's like this. Um, so yeah, I just changed it to Kiara more than that way. I don't feel like pressure to upload a certain type of video and I can just kind of do whatever I feel. When did you know was the right time to have a child and how long had you been with Kurt? Oh my gosh, I don't think there is a right time to have a child, especially your first child. You're never like fully prepared for that. Um, but Kurt and I, we were together for... Do you guys see that bird? I'd probably say about 10 years already before we fell pregnant with Miller. Um, and yeah, I honestly like don't feel like we were ready. I wouldn't change anything for the world and I love having her and I would never ever change anything, but I don't feel like we were mentally prepared for everything um, that we went through with Miller because it wasn't a normal pregnancy. It wasn't a normal situation. We were so young and naive. Um, we didn't even think about, you know, potential health problems or me not being able to work while I was pregnant. Um, we just thought, oh wow, we're having a baby, you know, and we like, don't get me wrong, I've always wanted to have a baby and I obviously I wanted to have a second one um, and everything like that. But yeah, I mean, the other the upside to that is it I do feel like it really matured Kurt and I quite young. Um, but yeah, I don't really feel like we were ready for everything that, you know, life threw at us that year. Favorite and least favorite thing about Kurt? <laughs> favorite thing is he does not give a shit what anyone thinks about him. And like, I know a lot of people just say that, but he genuinely, doesn't care and he will not change for anyone like Kurt is just Kurt and if you don't like him that's fine he will not change he is just his own person he's so unique and I freaking love that about him like sometimes I wish I could be more like that and not hold back so much in certain situations whether he's meeting you for the first time or meeting you for the hundred thousandth time he is still just Kurt he doesn't put on any persona he treats everyone equally um, and yeah, I feel like that is just the most amazing trait to have. The worst thing about Kurt is just how gross he is. Like he just farts and picks his nose and like burps all the time. So that's probably my least favorite thing. Yeah, it's so gross. Are you having another baby? I would love to have another one. Um, not for a while. I'm definitely not ready yet. There's so many things that I wanna do and there's so many like little projects that I have um, going. Hopefully one of them that I'm doing with Kurt will happen not too, not too in the far future. But yeah, I hope that when Miller starts school, maybe we'll have one more, but wait and see. Kurt, Kurt is very done, so wait and see. What makes you get past all the hate? To be honest, I don't feel like I really get that much hate. Um, you know, it's just part and parcel of what comes with it. When you put your life on the internet, not everyone's gonna agree with everyone, not everyone's gonna like everyone. I mean, that's, that's just the way life goes. That's whether you're online or offline, people just don't click, but online people um, feel like they have a say. So, you know, it's an easy way to tell somebody something that they don't like about you, but that's okay. I think, you know, I know I'm not perfect. So when somebody says, oh, I don't like this or I don't like that, I'm like, mm, fair enough. How, I'm not too sure. I think it's just um, with being on here for a little while now, you know, there's only so many like comments. Oh my gosh, your hair needs to be done. All this needs to be done. And you're just like, yeah, okay. Cool, it does. <laughs> Are you going to VidCon? I really, really, really wanna to go to VidCon this year. Um, I'm trying to get Kurt to come too, so hopefully Kurt and I will both be going. This year is the first year it hasn't fallen on Miller's birthday. So that's the main reason why um, I went once and I came home for her birthday. Um, but the other times I didn't go because like the main day was on her birthday and I just didn't have the heart to leave her on her birthday. So yeah, hopefully this year I'm like, 
80% sure will be going and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hopefully some of you guys are there. Do you wear colored contacts? Sometimes I swear your eyes look brown. No, I don't. My eyes are weird. I swear they change color all the time. Like sometimes I think to myself, they look green today, then they look blue, then they look brown, but I don't wear colored contacts. I think it just has to do with like the clothes I'm wearing and the lighting. Would you still like to be a YouTuber in the future? I love you. Please say Matilda. Hi Matilda. Yeah, it's weird. Like I don't really think of myself now whenever anyone asks me, like, what are you? I still don't even know what to say. I got asked the other day at Miller's daycare. They're like, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I just do a bunch of different things online from home. I pretty much went around everything but saying, you know, that I'm on YouTube and that I'm um, like on social media and stuff like that because I just don't even know how to say it. It's a weird thing. But yeah, I hope so. I love doing this. I love connecting with you guys. Um, I love like the best thing ever is when I get messages going, oh my gosh, your video last night made my day. I had the biggest day at work. I came home, I sat down, watched your video and it just gave me a big laugh or it just made me feel really relaxed. I'm just like, yes, like that is what I want. I just want to make people feel good, make people happy and hopefully give people a little bit of a break from life and have somebody to relate to when times are shitty. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely can't really see me doing something else like there's always little bits and pieces and things that I'm wanting to do aside from YouTube like for example my book and I really really want to get more into public speaking even though it really scares me I would love to start getting into public speaking I just feel like I've got like especially the whole Miller scenario I feel like I've got a really good story to tell and there's a few stories like that so I feel like I've got some really good stories to tell um, and I feel like they would come across really well in like a live situation and then yeah like Kurt and I are working on something. There's another little thing that I'm working on. Like, you know, there's always like little projects that you can do off YouTube that really excite me too. Um, but yeah, I can't see my, me going anywhere anytime soon. I feel like I will be here at least until Miller starts school, unless something drastically changes. If any, what are some jobs you had before YouTube? So before YouTube, I worked in Sunburn, which is a swimwear store. I also worked in optics for seven years. So I worked as an optical assistant. Um, and then I also was a newspaper girl. Um, I feel like I'm missing. Oh yeah. And I used to go for like the, you know, the gym, the local gym that I go to, there's flagpoles. I used to go do like the flagpoles at my local gym, go ride my bike down every day, hang the flagpoles up and pull them down. And I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm missing out a job, but I think that's pretty much it. Would you do anything differently in your life? Come, I wish I came out of my shell sooner. Like I wish I came out of my shell sooner and I wasn't so insecure. Looking back as a kid, I was just so scared of just everyone and being myself and it's so crazy how much my life has done a 180 because I feel like as soon as I started to crack that little shell open I just like wanted to do it more and more and more and I put myself in those situations and scenarios where I you know I grew from it um but yeah as a kid I was so fragile I was so sensitive I cried all the time I was just yeah I just would never say what I thought I was so shy um and yeah, I wish I kind of overcame that earlier and sooner in life, which is something that I really try to work on with my kids. Like I don't want them to get that, like it's okay to get that feeling, but I don't want them to close off to the world like I did. Where did you picture yourself being in life today versus where you are in life today? So say probably 10 years ago, I pictured myself just being a dance teacher, which is what I used to do. And I really enjoyed it. Now that was another job. And I, um, yeah, could have just seen myself maybe eventually opening up my own dance studio. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is me. I feel like this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. This is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Dancing is always going to be there if I want to go back and teach eventually. I've got all my certificates and my qualifications. Um, but this is, yeah, people always ask me, is dancing something that you miss, do you wish you never stopped? And it's like, yeah, I do, but I like this more. Like, I love this more. I, I feel like this has been the biggest, most challenging thing that I've ever done. And it's really brought out the real me and it's made me know exactly who I am. What is your worst phobia? Probably fires, birds. <laughs> I don't know why birds just freak me out. Um, and like big waves when you're in the ocean, like a really massive wave when you get dumped under. <laughs> How old is Mila and was she a premie? So Mila is three in September and she was a premie. She was born at 36 weeks. Have you got plans to write any more books? Not at this stage. If I do do any books, they will be eBooks um, because the cost of doing the books it's just cost us so much money like it's cost us so much money so I probably won't be doing in the future again um, unless I can find a cheaper way to do it do you ever worry about Kurt's safety while boxing 
No, I don't at all, actually. Um, well, growing up, Kurt used to always get into fights, but they were usually at a pub um, or somewhere stupid. So having him box and seeing him in a ring and like thriving and loving it, I'm actually really happy for him. It's in a really safe environment. There's referees, there's people there to stop everything if it ever gets out of control. And it's the best place for him to be in a fight. Ever since he started boxing, he's never been in a fight out anyway. It just kind of like gets everything out of his system. Um, so I love boxing. I feel like boxing has saved our relationship. I always wondered why Link has really dark eyes and why Miller's eyes are blue as. So Kurt's got brown eyes. So Linky got Kurt's eyes and Miller got my eyes. Can you give tips on saving? You and Kurt seem to know how to handle money. Kurt doesn't. <laughs> Kurt is not a good saver at all. Kurt is shocking. He is definitely the spender and I am the saver. And I think it's just, you know, something so true that somebody once said to me, I think it's my mum or my dad, the more money you make, the more money you spend. And it's so true. And I think it's just sitting down and working out those things. Okay, where am I spending extra money where I don't really need to right now? Um, and there's so many little things that you don't think add up that definitely do. Even going out and buying coffee, if you're needing to save a bit more money, just, you know, do the little things that you can do to actually save more money, turn off the lights for the electricity. And I'm a big believer as well in, you know, if you need more money, trying to make more money. So having a garage sale, cleaning out all your old stuff, having a look through and seeing what you've got that you can sell. I've done that countless times with old cameras, guitars and things like that, especially when I was at home on maternity leave before I started YouTube. Um, I sold, I had like an old um, motorbike that I sold. Like, I know me, I had a motorbike. <laughs> Um, so yeah, just have a little look around and see if there's any things that you can sell to kind of help out because there's so many things I, like even me looking around now, Kurt has got like 20 surfboards right there and I swear he only rides one of them and it's like four times a year. So realistically, he could probably sell like at least five of the surfboards right there. Yeah, I feel like I could delve more into that, but I feel like it probably needs like its own separate video. And yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in that. I could definitely sit down and try to film a video about that. I definitely need to sit down and write out some dot points, I think. You mentioned in a video once you're maybe looking at lip fillers. Do you think you will? No, I don't think I will. And I'm really glad that I looked into it because it's something that I was really thinking about and I was really intrigued in. And it was kind of the thing that a lot of people were doing at the time. Um, and I looked into it and there was one thing that I noticed and it changed everyone's smile. And I really didn't want my smile to change. Yeah, I was just like, that's just like one authentic thing that's like so like, I don't know, for me, like that's the first thing I look at when I look at someone is like their smile. And I thought maybe if I got lip fillers that it might not change the way that my like smile looks too much. but. From all the research I've done, it does make quite a difference and that is the main reason why I'm not getting it because, yeah, it was something that I was definitely looking at because I would like it when my face is like relaxed. That's when I would like like to like have like a little bit more plump, but when I'm actually smiling and using my facial expressions and stuff, I'm fine with that. So yeah, and the best thing as well is makeup. Like you can just overline your lips and make your lips look fuller than what they are. Lipstick does wonders when you just pop a little bit of lipstick on. Um, but yeah, no, I won't be getting them done. I don't think, um, I really don't think I will. But then again, who knows how I'm gonna feel in five years time, but for now, no. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up part one of the Q&A here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.